There are several ways to add audio to your movie, including import songs to create a soundtrack, record voice narration, or add sounds from the included sound effect library. Import songs the same way you import video clips. Click the Add Files button, browse to the music file, and select it. Then, from the Audio Files bin, drag and drop the music clip onto the audio track in the sequence to create a new track for it. To record a narration, select the starting location on the sequence, click Record, and select Narrate. This will open a window showing the video clip so that you can time your narration along with the video. To begin recording, click the record button. When you click stop, the narration window will stay open, but the recorded audio will be added to the audio file bin and to a new audio track on your timeline. You can record and stop as many times as you need. When you are finished, close the window. To add sounds from the sound effect library, go to the audio tab and click Add Stock Sound. From the Sound Effects window, you can preview any sound, then click Download to acquire the sound and place it in the audio file bin. VideoPad provides multiple audio tracks, so you can mix your soundtrack exactly as you want it. Here are a few tricks to help you work with audio. The volume for the entire audio track is located in the very left panel. Just adjust the slider's position. Volume for individual clips can be controlled by clicking the volume button on the clip itself. To fade a clip in or out, right click on the clip and select fade in or fade out, then enter the duration in seconds for your fade. Sometimes you'll want to move audio independently of the video it belongs to. To unlink audio from a video clip, Right click the audio clip and select Unlink from Video, or click the Unlink button on the Clip Preview window. Audio effects can be applied by selecting the audio clip, then clicking the Audio Effects button on the Audio Toolbar. Click the Add button and select an effect. Some effects have presets which you can select from the Select Preset drop down list. You can preview the effect from the Clip Preview window while the Effect window is open. When you are finished, click the X in the upper right corner to close the effect window. For more video pad tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.